Okay guys, so before I want to start this video, I just want to thank y'all for 600 subscribers. That is twice as much as I had two years ago. Alright, enjoy the video. Hey everybody, it's the Technical Wizard here, and I'm currently rebuilding the Lime iMac G3, and it had a problem where if you turned it on, it would stay on for a while, the screen would occasionally make some clicking noises, and it eventually shut down for no reason, but it would turn back on just fine. Now this is caused by faulty capacitors on an analog board. As you can see right here, this one is on its way out. So, this particular iMac I had, or still have, it has an LG CRT display. Go ahead and unplug my phone. And this here, you can, the difference where you can tell is this plastic piece. It'll say LG on it. Now, the analog board I robbed it from, the new one from, was from a, uh, I forget what this brand's called, Chung, however you say that, but it's not LG. There, are, The thing about these analog boards is when you rip one out of an iMac with a LG display, you look right here and you'll see some diodes right there. But, on one from the Chung, however you say it, monitor, you will see a switch right here. Now, some websites say that these analog boards are not interchangeable, but they are. Because this has a switch for LG and CPT monitors. So if you're putting this into a CPT iMac, then just leave it right there. But if you're putting it into an iMac with a LG monitor, then you're going to want to switch it to that. And this IMAX analog board, it looks really good, minus that one capacitor right there, but that one is not bulging where on this board this one was. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shove this back together and see if my theory is correct. Okay, guys, so I got the IMAX somewhat back together, enough to test it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plug it in and see if it... All right. Usual tweet noise. In the words of UXW Bill, smoke test! Okay, we got power, we got hard drive. But we're not getting anything. Hmm. All right, y'all. So guess whose dumb self forgot to put RAM in it? <laughs> Imagine. Anyways, take two. All right, no blinking light so far. And we got display. It's not the best in the world. I mean, it can be corrected, um, but it's loading, y'all. Go ahead and get a little screwdriver and find one. And over here's the little things to correct it. This one's screen, I believe. Um, that's that's brightness. There's one for focus. I think it's the top one. There we go. Much better. Look at that. that that's great. Um, yeah, so all I got to do now is set the display setting so it fills up screen. But anyways, guys, that is just my demonstration of interchangeability of analog boards for the M5521 iMac G3, revision C and above. Like the slot loading flavor ones all the way up to the 700 megahertz ones but guys i hope that helped so 
If y'all have any more iMac G3 requests, be sure to put them in the comments below. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll be seeing you guys later. This is the Technical Wizard, signing off.